Speaking of the Americans, did you see what I did right I there? I did. Seamless. Uh, fantastic show. Yeah. How did you prepare for your role for that program? Well, w fortunately enough, uh, uh, Joe Eisberg, the you know the the gentleman who originated, who yes. created and and wrote, was a, is a former CIA operative himself. Yes. So the scripts were always sent. First people ever to read the scripts were the CIA. Because if you're right, if you're a former intelligence officer writing about intelligence, they have they so they would vet it. Um, you know, immediately. So we would get notes from, you know, the CIA. So we had, we had that wealth of behind us and he, he would, um, t he would give us uh, counter surveillance um, lessons, all sorts, which I thought I'd be relatively good at because basically counter surveillance is pretending something isn't there, which is, I just thought, well, actors do that with cameras all the time. I'm going to be a master of this. I was, right. I was appalling at it. Um, yeah. He, he, he gave me away several times. Um, so there was, you know, there was, uh, we had this font of, uh, you know, information in in Joe. And then there was another gentleman who was uh, an, an illegal, as they were called. Yes. Uh, who came over with the KGB, set up as an American, and then was actually turned by the by the CIA, by the FBI, sorry. Um, so, yeah, we had these incredible people around us telling us that, when, because my greatest sentence at all the time was saying, they, I don't, this is just too unbelievable. Right. And they would always say, this actually happened. That's what... The, you got the, a good example of that? Where you're, where you're getting a script, where you're acting in a scene? I mean, the, one, of the, one of the early ones, on the first episode of the first season was when, when uh, Philip, Philip, my character, um, takes on an, another guy's as a gentleman called Clark, and he tries to uh, woo, romantically woo, a kind of a secretary in the FBI. And this was an enormous operation by the KGB. They call, it was something like Operation Romeo, mm -hmm. where KGB, uh, KGB um, illegals were, were trained in the art of kind of, you know, wooing and charm. I think it was by an Englishman. To kind of woo these low-level, um, uh, you know, clear, cleared secretaries mm -hmm. with the hope of marrying them in order to gain... You know, intelli well, intelligence gathering, which was stunning to me. It was uh, the audacity of the KGB, especially in the early 80s, w is dizzying. Well, yeah. And then that's what's so incredible about this show yeah. is how what I, I think are, are, are great television shows are made where I'm rooting for you. And I'm also kind of rooting against you. Yeah. And I'm totally conflicted. Breaking Bad was that way for me in, right. in many ways. Like yeah. I'm rooting for... For Walter White, and then I'm rooting against Heisenberg, and yeah. they're, kind of, they're the same person. And I was rooting for you, I was rooting against you, um, and I, it was amazing. Yeah, and we're, just we're, amazing yeah, the whole time. I think we're in this great age of the antihero now, where the kind of the balance of of doing that, that, that of the conflict, it, yeah. you know, brings up in an audience. It, I think is is always it just enriches it and, and enhances it. But yes, it was I, it was the kind of perfect. It was the perfect anti-hero of going. Let's 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 make the KGB operatives the heroes. What do you think about more of them? I mean, I, I know the way it ended. I don't want to kind of. I guess we're past the spoiler alert. But yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. Po I mean, anything can be written for you to for you and Carrie Russell and obviously the whole cast to get back together. Again. Absolutely. What do you, what do you I think? mean, yeah. Funnily enough, we're having we're all ha the the whole team of us, including the writing staff, we're all having a, a dinner very soon because we're celebrating 10 years. Okay. So. so, and we joke about doing a two hour special where we close out or we go back to see where they all are right. 10 years, you know, 10 years on. Um, and? Uh, I'm all in for it because, because as conclusive as it was, it's incredibly open-ended as well because they abandon the children, they head to, you know, they head to Moscow. You don't, you absolutely no idea of, of what's going to happen. I, I would, I'm, Count me in on that. Good. I, I would absolutely be in on that for sure. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.